Okay, so I found my file, I got it back to where I was at before it fucking crashed. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen, so make sure you save your file as much as possible. Uh, because otherwise, if you've been working for like an hour and that happens, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. You are uh, uh, a bit faster modelling it second time around, but it's just not worth it. Just, just save your file as much as possible. Okay, so yep, I was drafting in X this way, and now what I've done is I've intersected that draft with this surface and then trimmed away. Uh, there's a bit of a gap there, but that doesn't matter for now. Like, we can ride over that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's carry on with the trunk. We can even trim divide that, but there's no point for now. Uh, okay. Next, I'll use another draft. And draft up in Z. Let's get rid of the angle. Oh my god. Uh, get rid of the crown. Uh, and then flip surface. Let's bring it to one because I just want to be able to manipulate those CVs on the edge again. It's going to do something I think similar. Oh, what is it going to do? No, it dives in. It will dive in more. I don't know how much though because you can't judge from this. We're just going to have to guess based on the rear view. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a soft blend around here, but it looks. Usually you have like a sharp break and a sharp break on most cars, but here Audi have made it soft, so I assume that it's, it's, it's quite. Okay, this is how we judge this. So there's a bit, it dies in a bit. Let's have a look. Oh, wrong one. Oh my god. Yeah, I say I've gone too, too much. maybe there and does it go all the way up is it one surface all the way up to the top yeah I think it is it just goes all the way up oh my god I keep doing that so let's extend it up to beneath the tail lights and we'll give it a bit of crown to let's just project the uh, tail lamp on just so we, yeah that looks about right Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe it's even shallower than what I've got it. Anyway, let's give it some crown first. Yeah, I think it's more like that. Okay, so that's in, let's trim it away, oh, let's project that on, in that view as well, trim, and then like I said, there's a, there's a soft blend here, so I don't know, maybe, <laughs> no, yeah, it should be built like this. And then there'd be a surface from here to here, I think. It'd be like a monorail, not off of the curb, off of the surface. So let's make sure the curve is snapped to the surface. Let's get rid of these, this curve now at least. Uh, and build a monorail from there to there. Oh! From that edge and that edge. So it intersects. Oh, it didn't intersect. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it from this one then. To there. It's difficult to tell from the image. Uh, it'd be much easier if I had the car uh, in front of me so I could tell what it's doing. But we're just going to have to guess. Let's do this and that. Oh my god, what's going on? It's curvature, that's why. So I think it does something like that. And then there'll be two big blends. Let's trim it away. So there'll be a big blend here and a big blend here. Maybe I'm wrong, but that seems to make sense logically. Um, oh, for some reason it's not in positional there, and that's because there's not enough CVs. There's only three, we need five. Still doesn't like it, that's so weird. Why is that? Let's try rebuilding it. Let's start with this as the generation. Uh, let's up the CV count on both, five by five, maybe that'll fix it. 
Yeah, it still doesn't like it. It's so strange. I mean, it must be close though. Yeah, it looks like there's barely a gap there now. Cool. Right, uh, and then let's project and trim. Why are there two curves? So annoying. Uh, and then let's build the. We'll build a Y blend in here. Usually with the Y blend, you, I, I imagine this edge is going to be a bigger blend than that edge. So you build the biggest blend first, and then build over that. Unless they're both the same size, and then you do something different. But for now, we're not going to do that because that takes a while. Um, this edge is actually really small, but I think it gets bigger as it goes down, like a variable fillet. Keep, keep. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I forgot there was a curve on surface here, so make sure you keep both. Build a blend in that. Build it to default. Uh, usually, when you build to default, it will stop up here, but it hasn't, so we'll just do that manually. We'll extend it back. We won't do that because it does something weird. We'll uh, trim convert it. We'll do that and that. Project that on. Trim it. Now you have a square. To make sure it, it, it works though, I usually trim convert so we have a clean edge along there. It makes it easier to pop squares in. One, two, three. Ah, oh, come on. That should be positional there. Uh, right, we're going to cheat. I'm going to build a curve down here, make sure it's just tangent on both sides, or curvature, but I just do tangent for the sake of this. Guide curve, build a square, one, two, three, four. All right, we don't want that edge to be curvature, so let's change that. Okay, and then we want that to be curvature, so that's side edge four. Now they're both tangent, that'll do for now. And then we'll build one along that edge. We could build a we could use the fillet tool, but it might not like it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's build, I don't know, forty. Yeah, see it doesn't like it. Let's just do it manually. And build it a bit bigger as well. Project the curves on. Let's build a blend in between that. Now sometimes you can do it quicker, like I selected each and each edge individually, but you can pick chain select and it should select all those edges in a row. And build it all at once. I'm gonna do that as because I want to build a square in there really, it's meant to be a sharp edge, so I mean you can always overbuild and trim it back as well but to keep the edges clean like and exactly where you want them to be if you extended it and trimmed it back the edge would do something like and like that to exaggerate it but we want it to keep going along that edge so let's delete history uh, i want that edge back so i'll just then trim this temporarily uh also that edge too let's just duplicate that curve on surface Trim that back. Duplicate this curve on surf or this edge with a curve. Trim that back, and now we've got the necessary geometry to make a uh, square in there as well. One, two, three, four. Uh, we want this one by one curvature. Yeah, it's actually not looking very good, is it? But we'll fix that. Uh, let's maybe try. Oh, I didn't like that either. Back to five. And usually it just takes a bit of manual tweaking to fix the areas like that. Oh, oh no, cancel. I almost deleted the CVs. You don't want to do that. Uh, I might. I might tweak that out and this out. 
Get rid of that curve. Oh, deep. Right. So, there we go. Yeah, it, like I said, it's difficult to tell from the image. There's a lot of shadow going on, but I think what I've done is, is correct. Here it looks like they've even got like a flick, but we'll leave that. On my side view it doesn't have a flick. Or does it? Oh my god, I think it does. Ah! <laughs> okay, I missed that. That's my fault. I was rushing. Uh, damn. So the flick kind of blends out here. So that suggests maybe it blends out here. Oh, it's so difficult to tell. Okay. Okay, what we need to do is let's think of a way that we can do this without tearing too much up. Alright, no, we are going to have to get rid of these now. Sorry. All part of the experience. This needs to move back. Let's leave it at that. Let's untrim it. Let's untrim this to It's back to the insect. One, two. No. Three. Okay. So let's just say Let's say we have a big blend here, but that would look so weird. Like I imagine it to this to run all the way around there, but I don't think it does. It looks like it carries on. So yeah, okay. Some people, <laughs> yeah, I don't like the way some people do it. So let's do this. One, two, maybe this. Oh my god. We want there to be a, a, a core there. There is going to be a core there. But here there doesn't need to be. There can be a blend blend. So let's make this a skin. One. Two. No, I don't. Again, because I can't tell what it's doing on the... On the image. Looks like there might be a core there, but maybe it's a bit more vertical than mine. So let's make this more vertical again. Yeah, that's okay. Big blend, big blend. We can bring this back. Let's extend this. One, two. Also, this is probably a bit too. Let's give it some crown. Let's project those curves back on. Trim that away. Oh my god. I'm probably just going to delete this curve on surface because it's annoying me. Uh, and then free freeform blend again. It's good. And then one on here as well. We'll make it. Oh. We'll make it small to big like the other one. One, two, three. Freeform blend. I do. Yeah, okay. That, I think that's what it does. And if not, then I don't care anymore. Let's get rid of this. So, uh, yeah, okay. And then we'll draft back, like similar to what we did for this and this just using the same technique we'll manipulate the CVs so you do something like that and then we'll build a radius which will pretty much take up all of this surface um, there'll probably be there should be like a slither of flat there and then the rest will be a blend and that's how you control this highlight yeah I think that's about right uh, one, two, three. Build. Now you just have to guess what it's going to be. Ten. 
Yeah. Let's build it a bit bigger. 15. Ooh. Yeah, that's about right. Delete the history on these. Uh, let's. So basically, we have to make it run out to there. So build a curve. We're just trying to follow that. This curvature, align that curve to the curve on surface. Nice. Project that curve on. Oh, not that one though. Get rid of that. Trim that away. Trim that away. Okay, here's another tool I like to use. It's called Profile Blend. So it basically allows you to build over like here we have potentially one square there and one square there. It allows you to build two squares or more at the same time. It does require a little bit of love afterwards though. Like it doesn't really build exactly what you have in mind, but it builds it close enough. So let's say, oh sorry, what you do is, okay, we want we want one edge to be curvature and one edge to be positional, but we don't know which edge that's going to be yet. So, oh, well, we do. Okay, let's say side one is curvature. So this is going to be side one. You select the two edges that are uh, running tangent with each other, and then you select the opposite edge, and then you select spacebar or accept, and then you select the two adjacent edges, and press build and it didn't build <laughs> and that's because it's probably not positional here so let's just build a curve in here uh, tangent actually it's probably best to have a curvature for this curvature align this curve to this top edge of that slivered little slither surface and that top edge okay let's try profile blend again please work one two and then the opposite edge which will be the curve three and then the two adjacent edges and then press build yes okay so yeah we decided side one will be curvature so that's what actually worked out really nice like better than most times I've used it so that's lucky there you go looks really nice okay next oh let's go for the we still have to build this undercut up here and then the spoiler and we'll leave the tail lights till the end of the rear Okay, save your work. It, it is best to build, like, uh, to be fair, no, there's a big break there now, so we don't, like, this area, the top half of the hood, sorry, hood, the bonnet, or bonnet, oh my god, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going blank. The top area of the trunk doesn't rely too much on these surfaces now, like we can stop building up. The reason why I was just building up was because these all need to relate, all these edges need to relate to each other for the highlights to be nice all the way across. But when we get to the tail lights, they do separate themselves quite a bit, so they don't rely too heavily on the bottom. You still want you still want these edges to, to kind of follow the plan view of the bottom edges, but they're not too reliant, like we, we're not building off of them. Okay, so let's move on to the spoiler and build down towards the tail lights. Okay, so yeah, I've built it so there'll be a flick there. Uh, we've got an undercut and a blend. So let's just turn this curve on. Let's build, let's start with a draft from that curve. Uh, one second, let's on my Spotify. I'm recording, yep. Uh, right. So yeah, it's almost directly vertical. Let's give it a bit of crown. And then we will trim it away. because we want the core, I think the blend goes around there and it like fades out around here so it will come to a point Let's double check that and let's look at it on the yeah so there's like quite a sharp blend there and it comes to a point it looks like it kind of falls down but um, I'm just gonna have mine straight straight-ish yeah, it falls down that's good 
Uh, and also this surface here, this can just be a skin I think, because these are two parallel curves, they should be doing exactly the same thing, if they're not then that would be annoying, otherwise I'll just do a draft tool like I've been doing the whole time. But yeah, no, it does need to it does need to kind of twist it to get to that point, so that's fine. It's better that it's a skin. Doesn't look symmetrical though, does it? There's something going on. Oh no, actually it does look symmetrical, that's just the uh, curves. Right. Cool, that's in already, that was easy. Let's build this in as well. I'm just going to do a skin there, even though it's, they're probably doing two different things. Yeah, they are. Ah. Uh, Alright, it doesn't matter. It needs to twist slightly because it needs to hit the... It needs to hit the um, spoiler. One, two, oh, skin. One, two. Default. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Uh, let's fill in this gap. Nice. Okay, cool. Looking good. Uh, this this thing here, I will just do a draft, and it should just intersect with the. Um, with the uh, trunk surface. Let's uh, manipulate those, bring them forwards and up. That's annoying though. Like, I think this should probably hit that. I, I don't know. I don't think I can tell from the image. Yeah. I don't think there's a flick there, but there is a flick up there, so this needs to hit that point. So we need to make sure that's. Tangent. I also think maybe this is too round, maybe there's meant to be like a break. Like it goes like snap and then round. But I think it's going to be difficult to tell from these images and from. It just looks like it goes, flows round, so let's just go with it. Okay. <coughs> Let's position a line this to there then. See what it does. Hopefully nothing too major. It's all right. Let's blend it a bit. Blending. It's okay. And that means we also need to align this. Position a line. Unless there's an undercut there, but I don't think there is. Let's double check. No, it looks pretty... Hmm. Maybe there is a little undercut. I think there is. So actually... We can probably get away with that. Right. Uh, good. And then there would be... I still feel like... I need to tweak this anyway. So that's good. That needs to come up higher. That needs to come up higher. Okay, that'll do. Alright, next. Save again. Just keep saving. Let's build this surface. What like what does it do around here? They're just gonna be a big blend round. Yeah, there's a there's a blend there, so yeah, it's gonna there's the core is there, it just there's a quite quite a big blend that goes from small to big. So yeah, okay. This is where it does get a bit more tricky. What does it look like inside view? Have I missed something? It's one big surface that's trimmed away, but it also, yeah, I'd say, I would say, let's have a look at the rear. Yeah, the uh, orthographic doesn't help us too much. So look at the image again. <laughs> I think there's a surface there, and then there's another surface here which twists as it gets to there, and it's trimmed away. So let's do that. Oh, okay. Let's build a draft from this edge and we'll trim it. 
cut it. And I give it some crown. Okay, on mine it goes a lot further forward on my curve, so I'm gonna it means my curve my surface is gonna angle a lot more but yeah, that'll do. Alright. Probably enough crown, maybe too much. Yeah, it looks kind of flat. It's too flat. Okay, that'll do. So yeah, I'll I'll trim it from here and build us another surface that twists slightly. Oh, we need to trim away the middle as well. Rail one, two, three. Yeah, it twists a lot. Oh, it's meant to be just trying to be tangent there. That doesn't help. Position, position. That's better. It's a bit too much. So maybe it'd be best instead of a rail to build a square because then you can control this edge. So let's undo that. Let's build it. It needs to come out a bit. Try that square. One, two, three, four. Position, position. No, that doesn't like that at all. It preferred the rail surface. No, the rail surface was much better. Like maybe I just need to extend this back. Just try it. Let's see what it looks like when I trim it away. It looks like it will be okay. There's a bit more crown in this. Good. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Now let's just build off of this edge. What does it look like? Okay, yeah. Let's trim it. The And there's a then that's where the um, tail light goes. I've got this, so there is a solid that undercut runs all the way around to the kind of blends out. So we can get that in. We're still monorail for now. One, oh. one, two. Uh, we want it to kind of twist, it needs to be undercutting, not at the moment that's flicking out. So we do this, this is what I did wrong. This need, this curve needs to be pointing this way. Let's try that again. Actually, let's, let's make it vertical, more vertical. Curves. 
monorail. It's better. And it does taper. So we will trim it there. Trim that away. Shit. So maybe I was right about that rear undercut. Maybe it is meant to undercut more. I've made it vertical. But on this image it does look like very vertical, very soft. Uh, let's have a look at the front. But then this does look like a, yeah, I say that's what is happening. Um, the rear undercut is nowhere near as harsh as the front undercut. That was worrying and I thought they needed to be the same, but actually no. That's a lot softer than that. So that's okay. They, no, like a normal person who wasn't modeling the car wouldn't even notice that, but because we're modeling it, we, we start to notice all these little things. All right. Uh, what the hell? Oh no. Okay. So yeah, the monorail didn't work for me, so I'm just going to do a draft. I see, that's why. Oh, no! There we go. Cool. Let's project those curves on again. And then we'll do a monorail here, that should work. And trim that. I'll do. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. Maybe we should do a blend. We should either do a blend here or I should have made it curvature when I built it. Damn. Rail one. Curvature. Okay, that's not that's fine. Good. That's a relief. I feel like that edge now is probably going to be too sunk, too pushed back. Oh yeah, see, it's a lot more round than mine, my edge. So just select that on its own. Yeah, look. Oh, but that's partly because this whole rear, like, yeah. We can get away with it. Yeah, I mean for it to work, all of this needs to come. Yeah, because what I've done is I've built... I've built to the side view up here, but then lower down I haven't. I've built to the, the top view, so that's why it's all, all a bit off now. In order for me to fix that, I would just have to build to the top view, not the side view. But, yeah can't be bothered. I think we can still get away with it as it is. Okay. I mean these curves inside you line up so that's good. Pretty much. Not so much that but that's because I pulled that out. Maybe I should bring it back. Yeah let's do that. Cool, right, next. I've just been trying to avoid the freaking tail lamps this whole time, but we really do have to build them now. Let's at least trim this out so we're getting somewhere with it. One, two, three. Keep, keep. There you go, it's more like it. <clears throat> I'm going to build this in if there is a surface there. And then I'm going to leave it and move on to other areas and like like I said I like to do the details last so that includes headlamps and tail lamps for this exercise I'm not we're not going to go crazy we're not going to do all the tiny little details inside the headlamps we're just going to get the main surfaces in and, and maybe project some graphics on. Oh look at that there's a Tanya break that's annoying that's very annoying 
Let's see what's going on. Tangent, 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 not tangent. Tangent, tangent. This is going to upset this area, but let's just do it. Okay, that's not too bad, that's fine. Good, sometimes it just works out. Uh, make sure you save your work. Let's blend the spoiler in. Let's get our corner blend around here and then blend our blend the rest in. Okay. So we'll do this from top view, we'll put it in manually. I reckon it's about that. One, two, three, four, let's project those on. Trim that away. And that didn't trim away because it needs to be trimmed in the center line as well. Trim that away, trim that away. Let's also project that's there. Maybe I've been too gent maybe I've been too modest there, it needs to be bigger. I mean it will probably Oh god. Yeah. Probably wants to line up with that a bit more, doesn't it? Same with the side one. Okay, that trimmed the wrong way, so you just untrim it and retrim it back where it needs to be. Let's also trim that away. Ah. This needs to be a center line curve. Trim. Freeform blend. Uh, and we'll project this onto there as well. Get rid of that. What's this? Okay. Let's trim that away as well. So it's not sticking out. Does it need a center line curve? Yep. Extend that. Trim. Now, yeah, I think it does this, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it doesn't, does it? On this version, anyway, it blends out. But I think on our... Yeah. Yeah, so it's supposed to blend out there. Damn! Okay, so what do we do? I've done something similar to this on the Porsche. So I should be able to do it. Okay, I know what to do. Well, I think I know what to do first. Let's not do anything with that yet. Let's just build this. Freeform blend. I mean, this was supposed to come to a point, wasn't it? But I didn't do that because I was following my orthographic. And I didn't... My orthographic didn't give me an undercut here, whereas there is actually a big undercut there, but it's not showing up. It does show up on here, but it's only a small one. <laughs> Let me have a look at the front view. Yeah, that one. It's meant to blend out to a point, whereas I've kept it quite large. Yeah, as it went to the rear, it was meant to get smaller. And that's to do with this surface. But because that surface is so big, it should be an easy-ish easy, easy -ish fix. It will affect this, but not too much. And that's the other thing. It said that that would come to there. That's why I built that, that surface to there. When actually, it should probably come to about there. It's so difficult. Or maybe this does suddenly fall. I think it's a bit of both. Like maybe that has to come down, this comes down with it. But then no, because you've got that there. 
So, to me, that suggests that this is the dictator and the rest blows up. So, let's do that. Right, okay. This hopefully won't be too much of a tear up because I'm gonna untrim this. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna untrim that. Uh, and I'm going to duplicate this edge. And that curve is the one I'm going to manipulate now. So let's pull it up. Let's put it up. Pull it up. Hopefully it works. Let's untrim this. Let's bring that to there. So it comes to a point. Oh yeah, I don't think it's going to work. No! I wanted it to just flow from there up. But yeah, it gets very forced over here. So I think it needs to be a bit of both, like this needs to also come down, but yeah. I don't think it will be able to. So that really looks like it falls. Yeah, I feel like this this is a lot more vertical here than it is on my model. It needs to be more vertical there. So yeah, this needs to come down. So let's do that. Let's forget about that for now. Let's get rid of these two. And let's do something like this. This can. Oh my god, okay. It's okay because this is vertical, it's not going to affect any of the surfaces beneath it, so that's good. Let's uh, duplicate this edge. Because we're just literally pulling things straight down in Z. So it won't affect anything beneath it. Okay, good. Let's position align that to that. Oh, to draft, yes, to this curve, yep. This surface, yep, to this curve, yep. And let's uh, blend it. Let's get rid of this surface. Oh, is this the wrong surface? Oh my god. Alright, that was the wrong surface. This is the surface we need to be manipulating. That other surface was an old surface which should have been deleted, but it wasn't. Curve, yeah, good. Yeah, that's fine. Same for this one. Yep. Bring it down. Okay, good. See, it's completely different to the ortho, but I feel like the ortho is wrong there. Like, it definitely needs to fall more, and then this blends into there. Good. All right, I think that's sorted. Kind of. But then again, this actually needs to be all one here. This all comes into like almost one surface, so that's that's good to know. Let's do something about that. How are we gonna do it? Well, this ends there. We're going to delete the history of this one. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. We're going to build this to there. And we're going to position a line. This and this to that. So they come to the same point. And then trim them back. Oh god. I have a bad feeling. One two, one, two, okay, and we'll trim them, we'll use the curves I used before, one, this actually needs to
click and also project the line. No. We do want the core to be where it was still. Yeah, good. Maybe no blending. Maybe blending. Oh, I don't know. No blending. Uh, yeah. Trim this back. Let's move. Where's this curve gone? Let's move that to here. Good. And it's still not perfect because, I mean, yeah, it's meant to look like it's blending together here. So maybe I should have done this. One, <laughs> two, three. Revert. Partial. Nope, wrong one. And trim. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so now they're because they're both running into the same curve, they blend out together. Uh, which is what we needed in the first place. I should have known. Okay, so now what we need to make sure is, oh my god, there's so many curves now, get rid, get rid of that. We need to make sure that this runs into this, Ugh. right now, so yeah, it needs to like, blend into it, but on the image, this blends out at the same time whereas on ours it like comes way too far back rearwards so I don't know what to do about that anyway let's just go with it let's put our blend back in Freeform blend around here. Uh, uh, let's also just draft down. Fine. Yeah, just the hard bit is getting this now to blend. Maybe we trim it here, like I said before, there should be like a little snap maybe. Trim, yep. And then get this to run there but no it needs to run to like here curvature let's go with that um oh my god so so hard just 
just have to keep looking at it to see what it's doing. Ugh. This blends into that. So difficult though. Just feels like it's pumped out more, even more. Like I was doing, I think I was doing the right thing and pumping it out, but it just needs to be pumped out even more than what it is at the moment, in order to get that to flow into it. Like I kind of know, like <laughs> I kind of know, but I kind of don't. Like this should be doing this, the section should be doing this. to go all the way over here. Really so it should all flow like that. That's it, that's how you do it. Okay, come on, I'll edit the video. <laughs> so I've cut all this shit out. You don't have to waste your time. That's how it's done. Okay, let's do this then. Make this five. Okay. Let it extend back. That's good. Yep. Align the. That's made it more complicated already. Fuck!
Okay, let's just do this. Oh, no, actually. Okay, this is getting closer now. Why is that happening? So annoying. The Mario then. No. Want a rail curve. What is going on there? We want it to be positional, not tangent. It's better. Yeah, there will be a break and then there'll be like a blend. Uh, Align this to that. Blending. Kind of, but not quite. This actually just needs to run out to there. So, yeah, I need to do what I was doing before and extend this. Right, with merge on. And yet, yeah, for some reason, forces the surface in. I don't know why it started doing that. So what we will do is just realign it to this because it doesn't need to go in. It needs to stay out. And that does mean it does something slightly different there again but that's fine. Okay good. I think I've got it. Now let's get this back in. Let's see. Let's see it runs to there. Good, and then we. This will probably need to go up as well. Yeah, look, oh my god. There's crazy stuff going on. It's okay. I'll figure it out. Basically, I just need to get this core back here. But I might just try and cheat it. We can't really, though. Yeah, like this, but this point at least needs to hit there, so let's at least do that. Curve, duplicate. I'll try and fix these at the same time. Uh, stretch. Let's go there. Okay, uh, let's just position it, maybe. Uh, let's keep it like that for now. Let's duplicate this and rebuild a rail.
see, I feel like I've shot back too fast there again, but anyway. Uh, right, rail. Two, three. Oh, let's see, it doesn't like it anymore. Just in full on thinking mode now, like this is a very difficult area. So, it, yeah, it's an area I haven't really worked on before, like apart from the Porsche, like, but this is a lot more going on on this. Just trim it away, run my curves, one, two. Uh, maybe let's just try that. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> That's just not what I want. But it seems like it's the only way to get this to blend. Out. Uh, let's bring this down to two. So three, sorry. Let's also try and take some of this out. It's not doing it. Oh, it's not good. What do I need to do? Goodness, this is really tricky. I just had a bit of a block. Let's uh, trim this back, trim divide it and align it and see what it does when I do that. I don't think it's going to enjoy it, but one, two, skew, yeah it's not enjoying it, still blending. It just feels like I've pulled it out too much now, but it's really so tricky, so difficult to know.
But yeah, I've definitely forced it out way too much. I think it's the way to do it though. This is how you do it. I feel like this should be tangent though. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's what it does, so that's good. We're pretty much doing what it needs to do. Uh, sorry it took so long. Um, hopefully my editing skills have made it so it didn't seem so long, but yeah, that took me a while to, get, to figure that area out. But now I know, now that I've done it, I should know how to do it. Or similar areas next time. You just have to know which edges are the ones leading. So before I thought that these two would be leading that, but actually 
It was this, this, and this that had to leave that. But we got there in the end. Right, let's uh, reintroduce the undercut for the spoiler. And this is where we find out none of this like lines up anymore. Yeah, of course, but it does need to twist as well. As it comes round, it starts to open up and blend out. So it's fine for those. Let's just do this instead. I'm going to project a line on. Sorry, project a curve on. And we're going to build a skin to that curve on surface or to that trimmed edge. Keep, keep. And that's now no longer. Bloody. Uh, History messed that up. Save your work. Skin, or well, let's freeform blend. One other good thing about freeform blend is it works like skin, but you can do the whole chain select thing if you make sure everything's positional rather than curvature. Oh, it didn't work because this isn't curvature anymore. Let's fix that. Okay, retrim, trim. Skin. Oh. Skin. Oh. Yeah, like I said, as it comes around the corner, it starts to thing, but there shouldn't be a negative break there, and there is, and that's typical. To fix that, we'll just tweak this edge. Yeah, I didn't like that. Get rid of that. I don't know why it loses history every time I move the CV, it shouldn't be doing that. here as well okay let's try this again that's too much it's built a lot of surfaces there um, it shouldn't have built that many. There you go, I've just upped it to six and it's brought it down. This curvature. Okay, that's good enough. Good, that's nice. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Like, so close. There shouldn't be a negative there, it should be all positive. Let's, uh, we're going to tweak this. So, let's trim convert this so we've got a clean edge there that we can play with. Let's realign this little surface to the big surface and then we'll play around. Just with this one to get it positive.
better. Okay, that'll do, that's in. Oh, okay, well done if you've managed to follow. I know it was difficult. Let's just put this top surface in back in again. Uh, we'll just draft in X and then pull those down. And then now we'll just put a blend there and that'll finish that. So we just need to put like blends on there and on there and that'll look a lot more finished. And then all we need next is the rocker and the diff front diffuser and rear diffuser. Oh no, front diffuser's in. So just rocker, rear diffuser, and then we move on to, well, we'll put this uh, C pillar and A pillar blend in and then we'll final finalize everything with the headlamps and the tail lamps. Um, wing mirrors I can do as well in another video as well as the wheels. But there we go, we're nearly there. Good effort. Save your work and carry on again tomorrow unless you're really keen and you just want to carry on now like a psycho, but I've got to rest. <laughs>